was started with a man called Robert Baden Powell. Baden Powell was a Lieutenant General in the British Army, sent to South Africa to protect the Mafeking town during the Boer War in 1899. During his time there, Baden Powell trained youths to pass messages from different stations and offices and was able to outwit the enemy using simple scouting. On his return to Britain, BP was a hero and wrote of his war stories and his teachings in a book called Scouting for Boys. Before it was published, BP wanted to test his teachings and in 1907 took 20 boys from a variety of backgrounds to Brownsley Island in Pool Harbour for the first ever experimental scout camp. The camp was a big success and BP published Scouting for Boys in fortnightly parts and it was bought by boys up and down the country. By 1910, Scouts was big news and younger boys begged to join. In 1916, younger boys were allowed by the formation of Wolf Cubs, now Cub Scouts. Their programme and organisation based on the Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, a good friend of Baden Powell. Even today, the leaders of some packs are known by their jungle names, such as Arcala, Baloo and Bagheera. Cubs used to have to wear shorts, long socks and caps as part of their uniform. In 100 years, the uniform has changed a lot. We still wear a green jumper and necker, but we don't have to wear caps and shorts anymore. Scouting quickly spread across the globe and today exists in over 200 countries in the world. The first World Scout Jamboree, which is a big international camp, was held in London in 1920. Today there are over 40 million Scouts from all around the world who make their promise and wear the World Membership Badge. Girls is our chief scout and in the UK scouting is happening somewhere every night of the week. Two thousand and sixteen is our big birthday year. The pubs are a hundred years old. A lot has changed in a hundred years, but it's still as fun as ever. We still go on camps and adventures, and we can now earn badges for digital making and paddle sports.